Ann, and we want to welcome you to our home in the mountains of North Carolina. We have a really special video for you today uh, that we think you'll love. It's one of my favorites. Yes, it's a, a full 20 minute uh, routine, including a warm up, and it's uh, really geared for seniors, beginners, and actually everyone to calm the mind and relax the body. So follow along with us and stick with Bob and Fran. Namaste. Namaste and welcome to Qigong with Bob and Fran. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on a calm mind and a relaxed body. Who doesn't want that? So just follow along and let's start right now. Of course, we start most every session with a warm up period and we start by doing some energy tapping. So we have our feet separated about shoulder width apart, the knees are bent, you feel solid in your stance. We start with soft fists on the lower spine and we start patting up and down the spine. So we do the warm ups to get the chi to wake up and start pulsing within our bodies to make us more energized and to uh, make us really feel great. And then we start sliding down the sides, side of the legs, and go down as far as you can, that you're comfortable with. Then we start patting up the inside into the groin, and then down the front of the legs and around the back. Let's repeat that. Down the sides, around the inside, up the inside, into the groin, and down the front. Good. Let's tap with the right hand on the right hip. Bring the left hand up and start patting across the belly and patting on the chest area and around the underarm. And then a fist in the underarm. Good. So roll out that top hand have the elbow bent, the palm facing you, reach out and then around, patting down on the shoulder, then down the inside of the arm into the palm, turn the hand over and get the back, go up to the shoulder and you should have this elbow in front of you, so with the lower hand we're going to open the shoulder joint a little bit here. Excellent. Now start tapping with the left hand on the left hip. Bring the right hand up. And the wrist is sort of uh, just soft, sort of hanging there. You're patting and patting. Then we'll fist in the underarm. Good. And then we turn the hand out, elbow bent, palm facing you, reach across and start patting the shoulder down the inside of the arm, into the palm, turn the hand over, patting up, let's take that elbow and start just rotating that joint. So we like to open these shoulder joints. Too many people have uh, shoulder problems and this just might be the fix for some of you. Uh, very good. And let's do some tapping Sit on the chest with soft fists up and down the chest. Feels very good. Perfect. Let's do some uh, just gentle turning from side to side. And when we turn here, let's just slap on the uh, lower abdomen. So this helps to activate the chi as well. And uh, I invite you to do a little of this turning every day. And when we turn, we like to tap the back of the hand on the uh, lower spine. That helps tonify the spine, bring energy up through the spine. Good. And 
And in the front, if you could do it, we'd like you to think about patting on the uh, upper chest, just under the sho uh, shoulders. And at the same time, hitting in the back. And then we start to release and we slow down very slow and come to an end. Very good. Let's do a couple easy stretches. Uh, I like to uh, teach you a little uh, stretch, a full body stretch. So what we do is bring the hands up, overhead, and then slowly bend forward, knees bent. Just slowly bend down and just get down as far as you can. And then sort of roll yourself up, raising the hands and then bending forward and we repeat. Roll up. And we do that one more time. So uh, let's do a, uh, some sh uh, shoulder routine called oiling the shoulders. So with this, we're going to shift onto uh, the left leg and step forward a bit with the right. And uh, keep your left hand on the left thigh. And what we're going to do, you can watch first and then we'll repeat that. We're going to drop uh, forward, or upper torso forward, uh, so that your face, your knee, and your toes are sort of aligned. And then we're going to shift our weight forward and let that right hand here is just uh, falling at the sides. And it sort of curls around the toes and then comes up. As we stand up, we raise that right shoulder, take a right turn, and then come down again. So our weight's on the back leg. So we hang, shift forward, around the toes, back, you can push up with the left hand and just lift that right shoulder, turn it out, and sink. Forward, around, up, sharp right turn here, keeping the shoulder up, and then just release the shoulder. And we'll do one more. Around, and come up. This time we'll rotate to the right again, but we'll remain standing as we release the shoulders. So let's do the same on the, on the other leg. So we're going to shift uh, our weight to the right side this time, and we're going to be facing the knee and toes of the left leg. So we're going to let the left arm just hang, shift forward a bit, and the hand circles around the toes. Now push down with the right hand, lifting the body and lifting your left shoulder, turning out to the left, and then sinking and releasing. Shift back, inhale up, turn out, release, and with an out breath we come down again. Shift forward, around the toes, Lift up, lift that shoulder up toward the ear, turn out, and we do one more. Down and up, Just remain standing as you lift that shoulder and turn out and release. Good. So with a back exercise, let's move to a back exercise. Let's do one called the turtle. So the turtle, you can have your hands on, on, the, on your hips, and what you're going to do is extend the jaw and bring the head, the chin, into your chest. And then we're going to roll up and repeat. Extend, go down, chin to chest. 
Now push the knees a little forward as you start to roll your body up. You can watch Fran from a side view. And extend again. Come down. So we exhale down through the nose. Chin to chest. Roll up. Inhale. And let's do one more. Extend. Down. And up. So that uh, is an undulating exercise for the back, and uh, give it a try. Keep uh, trying it, and uh, I enjoy it once in a while. So I think that we're ready to move on to our Qigong set, and I think that it might be a good idea to first center ourselves. So we do that with feet together, and we are in the rest position, just to remind you, uh, for men, the left hand is in at the just under the belly button, soft touching, covered by the right, and for women, it's just the reverse. So we start with an exhalation and we release the right hand. We turn it out to the side and we our, our gaze is on that hand. We take an inhalation rising the hand up to about the face, then pushing the hand over to your center line, which would be from your nose straight down your body. Meanwhile, we turn the lower hand up, and this top hand then, with an exhalation, drops into a shape of a ball on top of the lower hand. And then we sink and let the left hand come out and then we breathe it up and then across holding the breath about to the nose and then release exhale forming that ball again repeat to the right side so we drop the hand our gaze follows the moving hand Push it across to center, and then we drop the ball, we drop the hand into the waiting hand, forming a ball. Repeat to the left, in breath, across, and ball. Good. So we start our flowing section of this routine with the feet shoulder width apart. And we're going to turn from side to side as if we were in a, a, a stream of water, maybe up to the waist. And we sort of turn side to side with the idea of the water flowing through our fingers. Very slow and mindful. And the hands are about equal distance apart. So when we get to the end of a turn, we would just turn the hands the other way, flowing through the water in front and in back. Very mindful, very focused, with the idea of using the yi, using your intention to feel that you are in a stream of water. I find this a very soothing Qigong exercise, and I hope you enjoy, you enjoy it as well. Let me do a couple more of these. And back to center. Next would be something we call floating and circling. So we start with the right hand, palm up in front of you. We shift to the left leg and extend that hand. Then we turn the hand over and circle it out, around and in toward the belly, shifting your weight at the same time. So now the weight is on the left leg. Shift to the right, extend the arm diagonally and out, turn the palm uh, down, and then circle out all the way to the side, 
and back into the belly. Now shift to the right. Right hand comes out, turns down, circles around, and back in. Shifting back and forth, extending the hand out, turning the palm down, then circling out, and shifting back again. Change hands. Extend. Circle out. Shift in. Extend. Palm down. Circle around. Now let's slow down the pace. Shift. Circle. And in. Shifting back and forth. Extend. Palm down and around. Slow. And in. Here we just do a couple more. I find this also very soothing, very relaxing, very calming. One more. Extend. Around. And back in. Next, we're going to do something called pitch the ball. It also involves the shifting. So watch me. I'm going to, uh, from center, I'm going to shift onto my left leg as if I were pitching a ball out there diagonally. So I start by pitching, and then when I pitch out, it's okay to raise the heel of the back foot as if it were pitching a ball. And then we turn the hand around and glide back. And then we pitch the ball with the other hand. Down, shifting, and up. Down, pitch, and back. Exhale, inhale, shifting back and forth. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Remember, try to breathe in and out through the nose and coordinate the breath with the movement. Nice and easy here, pitching and down. Pitch the ball up on your back toes. Pitch the ball up on your toes. Pitch, slowing down. Pitch. Soothe and relax. This is great for calming the mind and relaxing the body. And one more to each side. Pitch, pitch, and down. Perfect. So I'm going to do a little bit of free-flowing exercises that you just follow along with. And we're going to start by sinking, putting our hands facing each other here and then rising with an in-breath to about the heart and exhale down. So just follow along. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Swing the hands out and up with an inhalation. Bring the hands sort of overhead and then down, palms facing downward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Back to the front. 
first one. Up, down, out, around, and down. Up, down. Let's close out by making a large ball of energy, gathering that energy from around us into a very large ball of energy. Slowly we're going to bring that energy in toward our belly, toward what's called the lower Dantian, or the sea of Chi. This is where we store the energy. So for men, bring that left hand in, touching the belly lightly, and the right hand cover. And for women, it's the uh, right hand in first, covered by the left. And then we gently push the elbows back to lock in the energy. So we hope that you enjoyed this set to calm the mind and relax the body. Always feel free to follow along on this video or any of the others that we have. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell, and spread the words to other uh, friends and family. And so we end just as we began. Wishing you a great day and namaste. Uh -huh.